Hi everybody, I'm Drew Carey and I'm playing a game called Run It Back. So the show gave me this list of items that I haven't seen them yet, and they're all from the 2000s. <laughs> After I was already a grown-ass adult. They're all from the 2000s, and I'm gonna read each one, and I'm gonna tell you whether I think we should keep it back where it was or whether we should run it back. Oh, geez, a T-Mobile, the flip phone thing? Oh, a sidekick. Uh, no, uh, I mean, Although, if you're like a Paris Hilton type, because I know this is Paris Hilton's favorite phone, if you're a Paris Hilton type and this is your thing, go ahead if you can find a working one. But, uh, I mean, it would be an accessory for you when you go out. It wouldn't be a, a solid everyday use thing. But yeah, uh, it's you do you. AOL Instant Messenger. If you don't have a lot of friends, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you had nothing to lose. <laughs> but if you, if you like to keep in touch with people, uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Uh, sorry, AOL. Velour sweatsuits. Oh, I, I like the, um, like the uh, juicy ones and stuff. That, yeah, those. I'm sure they'll come back whether I want to come back or not. Like these things always come around, right? There's gonna be a day when somebody's gonna come out with like different colors or a different something and like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so sure, why not? The faux hawk. See, I mean, yeah. Can I tell you my theory about hair? Um, I developed a theory about hair, so if you see somebody with like a really old style hair, like a mullet or a or something that hasn't been around in 20 years, uh, that's the hair they wore the last time they were having sex on a regular basis. That's my theory. And uh, pretty provable. And then I, I've since refined that theory to where that's the hair that they wore the last time there was a major change in their life. So, especially with women, but with men too, if there's a major change in like attitude or job or a divorce, a, a breakup from a serious relationship, a new career, it's a new hairstyle automatically. A guy will grow a beard, he'll be, you know, they'll mix it up somehow to let the world know that, oh, this is a new me. Blockbusters, uh, I hear there's one left. That's what the doc documentary's about, right? Uh, I mean, I don't think this is, with streaming and everything, I don't think Blockbusters is ever come, coming back. So, again, not up to me. And why would you, like, no, this isn't coming back whether you want to or not, I don't think. No, this isn't coming back whether you wanted to or not. Sorry, Blockbuster, you missed out. You didn't start streaming earlier. Uh, one time, after I'd been on The Night Show and I was kind of well-known as a comic, um, I had kind of a lost weekend and um, a lot of, a lot of blockbuster rentals around and you know empty pizza boxes and beer and I was cleaning up my apartment I went down to blockbusters and I returned everything in the slot and then I get a call the next day and it said hi this call is for Mr. Carey I'm uh, you know Janine it was a woman a manager from blockbusters uh, he returned the wrong video to our store I believe it's one of his own and uh, I returned a porno to the blockbuster by mistake <laughs> and uh, I had, to go, I had to go back and switch it out, like with a clerk. <laughs> LeBron James on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hey, f*** you, man. What the f***? Are you kidding me? You do this to me? I come, I'm coming here as a volunteer? And this is what you do to me? Go f*** yourself.